triple seven is one of the longer par fours, but we have a tailwind. No real bunkers in play, and it's a good one to be aggressive with. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Good ball. Got a little okay. ground cut, baby. Come on. Right. Here it comes. Yep, you're yeah. good. Yeah. Good ball. Nice. There you go. Good ball, Miller. Yep. Smoke, baby. There you go, Dallas. Yeah, good ball, hey, boys. I crank one, which puts me in a good position on this long par four. Let's make some money. Uh huh. Let's make some money. Is that funny? Make some dots. Let's take these guys to school. Sean puts Come it on, on the green from a little over a hundred yards. All right, good shot. Oh, I think it's an easier putt from the right side than left. So add it just a little bit right. Yeah. I have just a short wedge in, and I thought I hit a pretty good one here. And we don't see it go in, but it releases hard and it finds the edge to roll into the bunker. Yeah. As long as it's putting, we'll just keep taking putting, and we'll figure it out from there. Oh, yeah. Tough little shots with the wind blowing. It's gonna release. You can pull that out of Do it. Do it. Good putt, man. Didn't think I deserved to be in the bunker, but it is what it is. But now this is a tough shot that runs away from me. Hey, that's just mean. Great run at it. Carlos makes his four net three. Boy. Yeah. And I just missed my par. I'm gonna need some help from Sean in this match. Come on. Now it hit something and stopped turning. And while he misses the birdie, four net three is enough to push the first hole of this new match. Yeah. Just like the only one. Yeah, slim pickings, man. Uh, hit that hard. Yeah, well, even vodka, you're going to to smell it, right? Started at the bunker and hooked it. Oh, oh you yeah. washed it. I mean, you washed it, yeah. Sit right there. Remember how uh, big that green was? A lot of green to work Chipping a putt. Yeah. Hey, we're, we're striking it now, do you, you know? Yeah, man, that's better. It sounds so much better. What it done. And we'll go from Miller flushing it to me almost missing it. Blame the cat. That was we terrible. Did not miss it. It's your fault. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> My partner Sean is also in trouble here. I was gonna say, Grant, I hope we're getting that. Yeah, you got it. But he hits a great little hybrid here to give himself a putt for par. Hey, Alfred. Nice shot, Sean. I'm short-sighted again, so a great shot, but there's meat on the bone for par. Pacific Dunes just feels much more penal when you miss in the wrong spots compared to Old Mac. Wow, that's way hard left up there. All right. Holy crap. Just a quick push right and then a hard left at the end. Okay. A little down at the end there too. That'll be the house. That'll be. Miller is gonna struggle to a six on this hole. Try to make it. 80% on that line. And now uncomfortable par putts for me and Los while Sean tries to save five net four. Carlos just slides by. Oh, that's good. Pretty good spot, though. Ooh, uh, great spot. spot. Boom. We've won the hole. Way to keep fighting. 
Oh, you got a hit. What do you have, Lewis? I have Sean and I have won the hole, and while this is a lackluster stroke, we've squared the match. I think I popped here too. Carlos popped too? Nope. Yeah. He says no. Nice try. No, but I gave Carlos my pop at the start of the hole. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. What'd you have, Miller? Double. Six to five. Sean, five for four? Yeah. Low. No good. Five for four? We gotta start fighting. All right. Hole 9 has two greens they alternate between depending on the day, and today we're on the upper green, which in my opinion is the tougher one. That was fair away. Stay right of that, I guess? Yeah. 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 Quick. There's that hook. Um, it's fine. Blind. Yeah. Stay up top, but... Let's see. Rocked out of it a little bit. Oh, baby. Good swing, dude. Woo! Yeah. Oh, Sean. Out of way, partner. Oh, thank you. Squeeze out. Yeah. Another good, good swing, bud. Oh, Miller. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Got the driver going. Good shot. It's got a different sound to it right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what was up with me this morning. I couldn't tell. Somehow, none of us commit to that top line, and all of us are going to end up in the lower section with a blind shot up the hill. Go. Go. And barely makes it up the hill. No good. What's Jay got for us? Did it make it? <laughs> Nothing. Silence. Up on, on the top? Yeah. yeah. In a bad way? Yeah. No, no, no. I think you're up there, up there. Oh, okay. I think you carried all the stuff. Carlos is next, and he chunks it into the heather. Doesn't make it up the hill. As does Sean. Inspiring stuff. So it's my turn. It's not a difficult shot. It's just a blind one. 65, 70. And after two chunks from the others, I stone cold top it. God dang it. I watched them all freaking chunk it. Come on, boys. We are having fun. Golf is fun. This was not a hard shot and we've made an absolute mess of it. I had to hit another one and it just goes to the apron. Look, blind shots are tough but I was uncommitted to any of these. Miller struggles to a six. Sean also struggles to a six. Go, 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 oh, go, so go, go. So bad. Maybe I did. That's pretty good. And that's a bogey for me. Miller struggles to a six. Sean struggles to a six. And that's a bogey for me. Five. So Carlos has a putt for par to win the hole and take a one-up lead in the match. Yep. Thank you. Very nice pace on that little So with the match at even, the tenth hole is just a medium length par 3 down the hill, but it's playing dead into a strong wind off of the ocean, making it much more difficult than it would normally play. So I'm just trying to hit a little knockdown 8 iron, and I'm a little worried it might be too much club, which is probably why I decel and chunk this 40 yards into the gorse. Not my best. Miller hits a mediocre one that just covers the heavy stuff. No, I didn't, but this idea. 
And then Sean follows me and dunks one straight into the gorse in front of us. Inspiring stuff so far. Carlos goes the other way and knocks one over the green entirely. This little hole is giving us fits. You hear me jokingly ask for a mulligan, but that's because I definitely have to re-tee. My ball is not going to be playable. Luckily, player two is pretty good, and I'll at least have a putt to save bogey. Good four. Good four. Oh, that was rough. Bad swing, uncommitted. Chunk. Not good. Miller is actually in the best position off the tee with this long putt from off the green. Yep. I do want to see this. See if your putter can get closer to my wedge. Deal. I like that. Based on last season, my money's on Matt. Mine too. I mean, why do I have to bet on me? Oh, baby. That'll, 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 that'll. But he nukes it and is going to struggle to a double bogey. Matt showing us that the shot really wasn't easier with a wedge. And then Carlos, after taking a drop, will have that left for bogey. No pops here, Sean? Here. Yep. Butter. Yeah, I think it, it looks pretty good. Right through here. Okay. Fight that wind a little bit. To crush some hopes and dreams. Uh, I make double bogey. Double bogey. Which means Carlos is going to have a chance to win the hole, but he just misses. Damn, good roll. Uh, Miller has a chance to win the hole with a bogey. And he just misses. No we didn't show my partner Sean, but he struggled to a seven. So collectively on this par three, we were 10 over par. But there's no blood and the match stays at even heading into the 11th hole, a more difficult par three with the ocean all down the left and it's playing long for only being about 120 yards. I'll get things started, and to let you know just how tough this par 3 is playing, I'm hitting a 6 iron from a little over 120. Golf shot. That was really long. Oh, nice shot, Dean. Yes! Wow. Trick shot! <laughs> Goodness. That is brutal. A 6 iron. A flighted six iron from 120. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go. Miller finds the green. As does Sean. Carlos is going to struggle again on this par 3. It's a beautiful hole right on the ocean. The views are spectacular, but you can hear that wind whipping, which is what makes these holes extremely difficult, despite not being very long. Miller with a putt for birdie, and you see his partner Carlos go from thinking he made it to telling that ball to slow down. I know that looks this seagull is the only birdie you're going to be seeing on this hole. My partner Sean hits a pretty good lag here, and he'll have that left for par. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got a good I've seen two guys already run this well by, and now it's my turn to give this putt a chance. We know that it's fast past the hole. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Be an athlete. No, 
I didn't miss that by much, but it's gone well past, and I'll have a tricky one coming back for par. Carlos struggles to a five, which means it'll be up to his partner to make a par to try to push this hole. Side left. Knock it in. Miller hits a pretty good putt at par, but it just doesn't take the break. And that's a bogey, which means Sean and I both have putts to win the hole and take a one-up lead in the match. Sean makes his, which means we win the hole to go one up, and my putt is for pride only. That's a bad bogey. Hurts the soul a little bit. That's no, man. I thought about it. I didn't have to make it because my partner did. So I put a bad stroke on it. That's not good. Keep grinding. That takes us to the 12th hole. We get away from the ocean a little bit, a little reprieve from the wind with a reachable par five. Sean gets our team started in the fairway. Miller gets it out there. Get over and go. And Carlos continues to struggle. More than halfway through the second round of golf, I think we're running out of gas. It's starting to hit us that we might be a little bit tired. I don't know where I was. Might be out of gas. <laughs> Just left of that. Yeah. Great ball. Yeah. Great ball. Thank you. After a good drive, I've got a three wood in and a chance to hit this par five and two from just around 220 yards. What are you doing, dude? I don't like it, but it's just fine. I'll have a nice little chip to get on the green and have a birdie look. It's all bailout spot. Chip back into Your it. Nice blind uh, shot, baby. Goodness. I am a lacking commitment at the moment. So we go with that. Sean, after a couple of good shots, hits his hybrid as a putter from just off the green, a shot that he used throughout the entire week and generally did very well with. This wasn't a hard chip, but facing back into the ocean and the wind, I just didn't quite get enough of it and I left more than I wanted for a birdie putt. Miller putting from just off the green for birdie. And he hits this a little too hard again. He's gonna have work to do to save his par. Carlos has struggled on this hole, and that was his putt for par. Approaching balls just in case. Yep. Hey, right. That was a little quick, huh? Yeah, don't be scared of it. Get the chance. Back of the cup line, middle of the cup line. Okay. Good putt. It's a good putt. Carlos is going to complete his three putt for double bogey. Sean misses his putt for five net four, which means that's a six net five matching Miller. And my putt is again just for pride to make a five. And Sean and I win the match against Miller and Carlos one up through six holes.
Make sure to like and subscribe and join us next time for the final match at Pacific Dunes, me and Miller against Carlos and Sean.